My first experience of uh, fig trees like the ones in these paintings was probably when I was crawling around as a kid on the Cairns Esplanade, crawling around amongst the, the branches and uh, the root systems of things like this. Uh, in fact, I was even born on the Cairns Esplanade. Uh, oh, um, that's all right, there was a hospital there. My poor mother didn't have to deliver me under a coconut tree or nothing like that. Anyway, but I didn't get around to doing any paintings of fig trees as such until now quite later in life. And I sort of found that I got into them through this across and down structure thing that I'm interested in at the moment. And I sort of found that after years and years of wrangling about concepts and themes and meaning and symbolism in, in my paintings, I suddenly found that the fig trees were a sort of a, a sort of a wonderful sort of mindless way for an old guy to, to be uh, painting his pictures across and down, across and down, and just letting the uh, letting the, the, the branches and root systems lead me where, where they wanted to. And the fig tree paintings, in a way, are sort of one of those subjects that you can do them however you like, and they're always going to be sort of real, because no one could ever say there wasn't a fig tree uh, configuration in a tree that couldn't be like that. So I found them a very nice way to paint as I look back and contemplate the whole, all the, all the different ways of painting that are available in the world. <laughs>